respect to importing the library with respect to their allies okay so instead of writing down import pandas so we should write down import pandas as that is pd so that means with the help of this as we can use allies so that is with the help of this allies we can access the function of the pandas okay so that is so the import pandas as pt now i am accessing the pandas uh, function or you can say pandas attribute with respect to pt dot read underscore csv so we are reading this particular data file that is a scene code and then after reading it i am storing into a variable that is called as a sales variable okay so once it will read it it will store into the sales so okay we, we can run it so right now the whole data set that was this one is stored in a variable which is called as a sales by as well as pivot table in pandas they are almost doing the same thing but there is a, a, a bit difference so what is the difference we will see later so let's first of all discuss what is a group by as the function name called group by that means whatever the factor or whatever the variable you want to choose so it will group by with respect to that variable like right now i am saying the sales variable that is in which we have stored the data that means group whole data with respect to country and show me the count so that means it is grouping with respect to the country australia canada so in country we have these um, um, you can say data entries against australia canada france germany and so on and we are writing down counted so that means all the data sets so this this is just counting us that means how many times australia is appearing in the data set how many times canada is appearing so this is not a good uh, representation if you want to just check it how many times australia is appearing how many times is canada is appearing so how we can do that so after this one I mean after this a group by we can write down the country column and then count so that mean only counting with respect to country so that is the best representation so instead of checking all the data set which is as you can see that showing us the counting with respect to australia canada and so on so this is a better way to write down how many time a particular country is appearing so another thing is if you want to count it or you can say to uh, grouping with respect to more than one factor or one variable or you can do that so like right now this is a single uh, factor so now if you want to access multiple then you need to write down in a list format that is basically that is the bracket start and bracket close with the which is called as uh, then we have the country as well as we have the age group and then we are saying counting with respect to the country variable okay so right now what it will do it will do sales dot group by and uh, grouping it with respect to country and then age group as you can see in the output so this is country this is age group and showing us the country so that means in australia how many adults are there in australia how many seniors are there okay in the data entry perspective so this is the output similarly if we write down after this unstack so the output will be looked like this way okay so whatever the output method you like so you can use it so if you haven't used unstack it will look like this way so with the help of unstack it will look like this way okay now i am uh, calculating some descriptive analysis uh, as well as using group by function so i am saying showing show me the profit average against each country so uh, average profit against each country how we can do that first of all we are grouping it and then we are calculating the average with respect to this variable okay that is a profit dot mean so right now we can check the average value or you can say average profit against each country similarly if we want to calculate the average with respect to multiple variable so again right now i am grouping with respect to this variable that is month and calculating the average with respect to profit and order quantity so in order to do that we have to use two dimensions that is mean array within the array or you can say list within the list that is profit and order quantity so with the help of this one we can calculate the average value against those uh, variables similarly uh, if we want to group by with respect to two variables that is this way 
and we are calculating the average with respect to these two variables okay so earlier we were grouping one variable now we are grouping with respect to two factors that is month as well as age group so uh, remember that there is a two method uh, two way you can use the group by function in method one which we were using earlier so what we are doing we were first grouping it and then calculating the descriptive analysis and there is another way uh, so uh, first of all you should access the columns okay right now the first method what we are doing we are doing sales dot group by and with respect to this and then cal 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 calculate the descriptive analysis with respect to this variable so in this particular method what we are doing first we are accessing the data okay data column which uh, in which we are interested and then using one of the data column we will group by that is age group and then we are saying describe so you know, we are grouping with respect to age group so what kind of descriptive analysis it will show us it will show us the descriptive analysis with respect to the month variable which is a qualitative variable so it will show us the descriptive analysis of the qualitative variable in terms of count unique top number and then the frequency similarly uh, if you want to uh, do it again i'm using the second approach first time accessing the column instead instead of using group by first so i am accessing the column then i am saying group by with respect to age group and provide me the descriptive analysis so uh, whatever the variables are left after the group by that is age group okay so it will show us the descriptive analysis of the rest of the variable that is unit cost as well as profit so both are the quantitative variable so it will show us the quantitative uh, descriptive analysis of those against those variable which is unit cost as well as the profit which is count mean standard deviation minimum value uh, first quartile median third quartile at the maximum value and so on okay so similarly we can use the group by function uh, in order to draw some qualitative analysis like right now what i am doing i am drawing the uh, multiple bar chart or we can do that first of all what i am saying sales group by okay so that is uh, right now i'm using method one so group by with respect to country and age group and right now i'm saying counting with respect to one of the variable which is country count it and then draw the plot that is kind what kind of plot we want to draw bar chart once we write down stack is equal to false that means show us the multiple bar chart or you can say side by side bar chart and this is the figure size okay and we are saving into a variable that is called as emp okay why we are doing that uh, because i want to label y axis as well as x axis because with the help of this gra uh, this variable in which we have stored the graph we are saying it label it with respect to number of customer so label the x axis with respect to country okay so as you can see that on x axis we have a country on a y axis we have the number of customers and this is a multiple bar chart with respect to the uh, country as well as the bars are representing the age group okay and y axis indicating the frequency similarly if we use the same command but in the stack if we write down true so instead of showing us the multiple bar chart or you can say side by side bar chart it will show us the component bar chart or you can say stack bar chart okay so now we are going to talk about the pivot table okay uh, remember that pivot table and group by can be used for the same task but in terms of performance wise uh, as i will show you later that pivot table is bit slow compared to the group by so but uh, both are the okay method or you can say fine whatever the approach you want to use either you want to use pivot table or either you want to use group by so both the things can be used um, it's up to you which approach you want to use it like first of all uh, i'm using the pivot table uh, how we can use it uh, it will do it pd that is basically pandas okay uh, indicating the pandas library and from the pandas library i'm calling a function that is called as pivot underscore table okay so against which variable or you can say which data frame we want to pivot it that is the sales 
in which we have stored the entire data set and we are seeing it pivoting it or you can say grouping it with respect to age group so in order to grouping it so we have a command that is index so index is equal to whatever the variable against you want to pivoting it so that is uh, what this command will do it will pivoting it with respect to age group that is over here and showing us the average value against all the quantitative variables so this command will not show us the qualitative variables as you can see that there is no country there is no age underscore group and so on okay so this command is equal to which command that is if we want to use the group by function that is this one the difference is uh, in group by it will show as the data we have stored in the sales variable but when we are using pivot it it will show us the result and arrange it with respect to the alphabetical order okay so otherwise the both the output are the same as you can see that the average cost as well as average cost so these are the same results right so similarly if we want to as we were using the group by function in order to with respect to two variables so if you want to pivot it or you can say group it using the pivot table with respect to two variables or two factors or you can do that so in an index you can write down the two variables so right now it is showing us country as well as age group and showing us all the quantitative variables against we can check the average values these are the average values right now okay again uh, if you want to uh, access only the particular column instead of all the columns so we can write down the addition that is country uh, comma value is equal to profit and unit cost instead of showing us cost age group day and so on show us only the profit as well as unit cost okay so right now it is showing us with respect to country wise average profit as well as average cost okay similarly <clears throat> if we want to find out instead of only the average value let's say we want to find out the median as well as the standard deviation so for that we need to call the numpy library so how we can do that import numpy as np okay then we are saying that um, pt that is pandas function pivot table sales in which we have stored the data and we are pivoting it with respect to country show us the variable of unit cost and profit and calculate of that is aggregate function is equal to from the numpy mean okay as well as median as well as standard deviation so that mean pivoted with respect to country and calculate the mean median and standard deviation of these variables that is unit cost as well as profit so right now it is showing us the mean median and standard deviation against both of the variable so similarly uh, we are saying we can pivot it with respect to multiple variable okay uh, right now we are pivoting it with respect to this one and we are saying that showing us the value of unit cost as well as profit and again we are calculating mean median bond here we were only pivoting with respect to country here we are pivoting it with respect to country as well as age group okay next uh, again let's say if you want to say that we want to calculate the sum of profit okay but i want to calculate the sum of total cost as well as mean of cost i don't want to calculate the mean of profit so how we can do that so right now i am saying uh, p table that is a variable in which i am storing the data okay so this is the advantage so what is the advantage so we will see later so which mean we can subset uh, if we are using uh, this uh, this option that is mean uh, once we have write down the pivot table command and store into a variable and then we can further uh, you can say subsetting this pivot table output okay how we can do that we can uh, see after that first of all what we are trying to do over here is that is uh, again pivot table i am accessing the data set and then i am indexing with respect to country and as well as age group and then i want to show only the profit as well as the unit cost and then i am seeing agri function that calculate the sum of the profit so that's why profit colon sign and i want to calculate the sum of this total profit against country as well as age group similarly 
calculate the sum of total cost against country and age group as well as mean. So how we can do that? So we can calculate unit cost, column sign, sum as well as mean. So as you can see that in the output, okay, once we write down P table, so this is country against age group against profit, we are having only sum, uh, but against unit cost, we have sum as well as means answer, right? Okay, so as I told you earlier that once we have stored this output in a column that is called as p-table, that is a variable, so we can further use this variable to filter the output. So that means instead of I want to report all this output, I want to report only against uh, the as total profit or you can say average cost per unit as well as total cost. Uh, only against the United States country. So I can access the uh, column which is variable that is P table in which we have stored this entire uh, pivot table output. Then I can call a function that is called query. Okay, then country is equal to United States. So the right now it is showing us only the United States results. Similarly, we can use for the multiple countries. Okay, so United States as well as Germany, right? Now we are comparing the performance of the pivot table as well as group by. Once I have write down percentage time, okay, and then I am calculating the average against the age group of the entire data set. Similarly, using group by of the entire data set's average. Okay, as you can see that once I have run this command, you can see wall time 52.5 millisecond for the group by it's 46. So that means for computational perspective, if we see that, so group by is performing better compared to pivot table. But uh, you can use uh, both the options, both are good, both have their own advantage and disadvantage. So I like both uh, approaches.